Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything and welcome to Penzance. I'm just off the Night Riviera Sleeper from Paddington. Brilliant journey by the way. If you haven't seen that video, please, there's a link below. Much more superior than the Caledonian Sleeper and I hate to say that. Anyway, I'm here and I'm heading home to Glasgow. Now the original plan was not to film the return journey from Penzance via Birmingham up to Glasgow. Boring journey, why would you want to watch that? Then I looked at the fare and it was something like £182 and that is with a senior discount. And I know what you're thinking, you can qualify for a senior discount? I know, thanks guys. But yeah, 182 quid. and I thought, I thought whoa. <laughs> and then I thought, let's try split ticketing. And I managed to get it for 66 quid. that's a third of the price. So I booked it and I thought, that's a good job done. Then I looked at what I've just uh, agreed to and it's not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, but seven separate tickets. And each ticket requires a seat reservation change. I know, I feel the same way. So, apparently I have to change seats at places such as Plymouth, Exodus and David, Bristol Temple Meads, Cheltenham Spa, I know about Birmingham New Street, I then have to change on the Avanti train at Preston. I'm saving over £100, ball, but what, what an inconvenience this is going to be. And the thing is, at Birmingham New Street, I now discover that between my cross-country train, which is this one here, and the Avanti service up to Glasgow, I have 12 minutes. Now, if we're in Switzerland, that would give me enough time to head up down to the concourse, have a cappuccino, relax, whatever. But here in the UK, 12 minutes is borderline cutting it fine. So this has now turned into a boring video, into a, a real challenge of a video. I do hope I make it. The plan of action, my cunning plan, is to see if I can find a seat here, unreserved seat, all the way through to Birmingham New Street. That would make life a lot easier for me. But plan B is I have to keep playing musical chairs. Anyway, let's have a little look around Penzance Station and I'll see you at 9.25 for the departure of this train. So the plan of action is to just join the train at the last carriage and walk my way through. I'm hoping to find some unreserved seats. But I've just had a sneaky peek through some of the windows and as far as I can see they're all reserved seating. Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> we'll know in about 25 minutes. The train began to fill quickly. A staff member walked through the train asking all passengers to take coats and bags off adjacent seats as they would shortly be needed.
Eventually the train filled with passengers standing in the aisles and vestibule areas. At Bristol Temple Meads, our train was attached to a waiting five-car train, which solved the overcrowding problem. As each station passed by, I checked the train's on-time performance. I only had 12 minutes connection time at Birmingham New Street after all. If I missed my connection at Birmingham New Street, things could be painful. If the cross country and Avanti journeys were on the same ticket, and I missed the connection, Avanti might be a little more flexible in me catching a later train. But being on split tickets, I'm on my own, and facing an expensive journey up to Glasgow. We're on time, we're about 12 minutes. I'm sure if you subscribe to this fine channel, that would help ease the pain a bit. slight panic at Birmingham New Street. The onboard announcement said this service was bound for Holyhead. This was quickly corrected by the driver. Sandwell and Dudley, Wolverhampton, Stafford, Crew, Warrington Bank Key, Wigan Northwestern, Preston, Lancaster, Oxham Home Lake District, Henrith North Lakes, Carlisle, Motherwell, and Glasgow Central. Well guys, after a very, very long day, we've made it back to Glasgow Central. That could have been a very messy day indeed, but it was end ended up being the best case scenario. I was able to get an unbooked seat all the way through to Birmingham New Street, and again all the way through to Glasgow. In fact, that train from Penzance to Bristol Temple Meads was absolutely mobbed, absolutely packed. People standing in the aisles, people standing in the vestibule area, and with me having to play musical chairs, I'm pretty sure I would have been standing as well. Anyway guys, thanks very much for coming along with me. I knew I'd do it with you tagging along. I'll see you next time.